What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 on the Xbox One. We're on Little Horn Valley. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I finally got a shard that's actually usable. Uh, I found, finally found that fortification shard and I slapped it on this fancy new totem of mine. I'm not going to bother upgrading it, but I did upgrade the shard. As I know, uh, fortification shards are a hot hot item all the way through uh kind of kind of all the way through the game uh anyway i i'm having crap luck on the other shards though i'm getting the same stuff over and over actually i got an enduring tornado i got two enduring tornadoes let's go ahead and let's get rid of one of those guys and i think yeah might as well equip this other one here Ooh, it doesn't go in a weapon. What slot does it go in then, I wonder? Let's see. It goes in the gloves, but I do have a shard slot available in the gloves, so it is all good. Let's get a little Enduring Tornado going there. Now, I think since I am going to be using this hero throughout, I believe I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one as well. So let's go ahead and uh, just upgrade that bad boy. It increases the knock-up duration by six seconds. That's a little OP. I can't pass that one up. And I don't think there's anything else exceptional here. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look at the staff. What am I thinking? There's a new staff in there. 243. It's actually slightly better than the one I have. But I do like the shot type better. So I think I'm going to go ahead and swap to that staff. And then we'll get rid of the rest of this stuff. And move along from here. So uh, anyway, here we are in Little Horn Valley. Now, um, since uh, my last episodes, I did... I've got all the heroes unlocked now. Uh, Trendy was kind enough to hook it up for me, which is awesome. And I've got all the heroes unlocked. Now, however, I'm not going to play any of them until I complete the campaign. I want to at least get the campaign experience done. Well, thank goodness you have come. That's right, townsperson. I'm here to save the day. Barricaded yourselves in the inn. They are in the inn. Outstanding. All right. Let's see. I think I'm going to turtle this one. Now, I've been trying to save the sub-objectives on all of these, but I believe this map... I don't think I'm going to bother saving the sub-objectives. I think... I think I'm going to let them drop. Let's see. Over here. Let's back it up a little and go like... Let's go like right about there. Hopefully hopefully that's enough. And I'm going to stick with the same flavor here. We're going Flame Arrows and Poison Dart Towers. Uh, once again, in case anybody's curious, the reason I decided to do that is my last playthrough. I went Flamethrower's Cannons. And, you know, trying to mix it up a little bit. Give myself a little variety. Variety is the spice of life, they say. See, I don't like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. Now, if this map is anything similar to what it is in the chaos mode, there is going to be an absolute crap ton of flyers. See, let's just let's just PDT it straight across. I'm gonna put this one kind of backing at an angle here. There we go. All right, and then let's uh, let's monk it up a little bit. And what do we got left? We've got uh, 450 left, so not an exceptional amount, but that is what that's 15 flame auras. And conveniently, we have one, two, three, four, five lanes. Imagine that. So basically, just got to survive wave one. Actually, this lane won't be used yet, so I don't have to build anything over there. But I will have to next wave. Let's see here. So that will allow me 
to go for Flame Rs, I believe. Let's uh, do the same thing here. Actually, I'm wondering if I should double up on the wall. Seems like the natural choice, to be honest with you. You know what? I'm going to be DPSing from back here, so let's just uh, let's go with it and hope for the best. And like I said, normally I've been trying to hold all the objectives just for the bonus XP, but this map, I think, uh, the first time through on campaign here, I think this map may be easiest if I just go straight up for the turtle. And looks like that's it. Let's check out the new weapon. Super hot item right there. See if we can't wreck things up. <clears throat> now, I got new flyer control. And, uh... Like I said, I'm not positive, but I believe this is a flyer-heavy map. We'll have to see. I know there's there's crazy amounts of flyers on this map when you when you do it in the trials, and of course we're far from the trials. Whiskey lock going down. Yes, it is. Let's see. Just actually, the range is perfect on that javelin thrower because he is still standing in that aura. All right, here come those flyers. Oh, how lucky. The flyers went down to the walls. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Still uh, far from over, though. Lots more flyers coming in. Oh, little derpage. The derpage is real. Let me get back up here. How we doing here? The walls are getting chewed up. Uh, yep, the flyers all dipped low, so that is just perfect, because that puts them down into PDT range with them going down after those walls. 75 mobs left, still a ways to go here. All you baddies need to die. Both of the outside lanes are getting pushed really hard. This this side's just going to need a repair. <laughs> and here I am almost selling it. Oh, let me tell you, so smooth, so smooth. Oh, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have any green mana. Let me get, uh, only two mobs left anyway. I'm going to upgrade it here at the end of the wave, so it is all good. Now, I would like to get a little flyer control in, even though they did all dip down. Or you know what, do I even need to bother with it? Hmm... I guess we can try one more wave and see. We do have, have 200 DU left to spend. And I uh, should have more than enough mana here to get that done. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, uh, we'll first start off. Let's, let's start off with the basics here. Let's get these walls fat. And those PDTs are putting in most of the work. I really need to get a better uh, a better medallion. Or I need to get a medallion, period, I think, on those. The PDTs, of course, uh, their dart damage is small. The poison damage is really where it's at. And the poison damage scales uh, directly off of defense power. Ooh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Well, I gotta double up on that PDT. Okay. So this will allow me to get the rest of the rest of my R's in. Sadly, if my R's were a little bit bigger, we get some premium uh, multi-lane coverage going on here. But I got these little baby R's. What can you do? Let's see. Can we get one more? Oh yeah. Okay, 80 DU left. Hmm, let's see, that leaves me 50. Do I want flyer control? Something tells me that I do want flyer control. But just unsure whether or not I really need it. You know what, a little flyer control never hurts. I tell you what, let's just put it dead center here. That way anything that does make it past... I can, uh, I can allow myself a little additional derpage and not having to, you know, to run back. 
Oop, the lower lane open, that's right. And this lane can be tough. Um, I always got mixed emotions on letting this objective fall here because this lane can definitely be a tough one. No doubt about it. Trying to save those tornadoes for the cobalts. That cobalt exploded long before my tornado got to it, so kind of a waste there, but... I guess that Draken still. How the wall's doing? See, we got 260 mobs left. Lots of bads. Lots and lots of bads. And we got flyers coming in. I'm gonna ignore the flyers. Alright. The Wither Beast, Mr. Wither Beast, has got to got to go. Now, what is the the mob that's introduced on Little Horn Valley? Hmm. I just I just don't remember any of them to be honest with you. These R's are getting a little low too, but hopefully I'll have enough mana here at the end, into this wave, get some upgrades going. There we go. Now we're talking. How are we holding up over here? Looking good. Let's go ahead and uh, get that lane CC'd a little bit. Way back there in the back. And let's do the same over here. Oh, I only caught one mob out of that? Failure. Alright, looking good. Little Gobu, little Gobu down. Let's see how we holding up over here. We got lots of mobs rolling in here. Little backdoor tornado. What up? I'm back over here. What you guys gonna do? <laughs> you're gonna get wrecked is what you're gonna do. And then, is that a stuck mob? It appears. Oh yeah, there he is right there. It appears I got a stuck mob here. It's all good. All right, let's get let's get everything repaired. Once the walls are repaired, then oh god dang it, wrong damn button again. What about me, little guy? I am uh, failing miserably at reading. Oh, look, it's a Ramster. See, Ramsters are real. <laughs> I'm failing miserably about reading all of the uh, all of the little little text pop-ups. Uh, it was actually pointed out to me in a previous video that I'm just blathering away and. The text pop-ups are going off like crazy, and I'm just completely ignoring them. And yeah, that that's happening. <laughs> All right, that leaves me enough for upgrades down the row right here. Hmm, I think the mid could use some love. Let's do. Let's at least get two upgrades there. Try to get the two closest to the wall here. Which normally I would do the other way around and get the two furthest from the wall as uh, the mobs are coming in. But I can pretty much count on lots of mobs uh, pressing into the walls. So go kind of reversing my usual theory there. 33 left, that's not enough for anything. Let's just uh, get wave 3 coming here and see what we can do. Now did this thing actually get in any damage? I wonder. Yeah, it did a little bit. So their flyers did make it all the way close enough for that sky guard to attack anyway. Oh yeah, here they come. Here comes the badness. Of course, uh, all those little yellow dots on the mini map are cobalts coming in. And I failed again on my tornado. I didn't get it off quick enough. Looks like I caught one or two of them in there. The nice thing about Turtle on this map is you really do have just a good view of all your walls, pretty much for the entire run. Makes life a little easier. Let's see here. 
Yep, out of juice. Running out of juice. Never a good thing. Just about ready for another tornado, and it's just about the perfect timing, too. There we go. Yeah, you guys uh, all get CC'd up a little bit there, would you? Uh, the walls are definitely getting low. Oh, that one's just going to have to have repair. Just going to have to have it. I mean, how are we holding up? Up top is getting chewed apart, isn't it? Let's see. Actually, the wall is not... I mean, it's taking damage, but it's not like an insane amount or anything. But that is a big pack. Yeah, I need a wall repair here. I mean, I got plenty of green mana left to get that wall repaired up. Even though I'd much rather save that for upgrades. You know what, those flyers all appear to be going down at the walls, so that that is just about perfect. There we go. One flyer left and it's a good game. Looks like I got an aura getting really low on that side. I'll have to throw some upgrade love over there. Wave... 3? Or wave 4 incoming. They're coming from everywhere! Yes, they are. Let's see. Let's get all these walls squared away here. Yeah, yeah, that R is definitely putting work in. in good shape there. Let's get an upgrade here. Let's run an upgrade on that, too, just in case. And how's everything else doing? Looking good, really. That one put some work in. And... Might as well get everything to tier 2. So, uh, I'm sure most people have figured it out by now, but upgrades you get the most value out of your very first upgrade. Or you used to, anyway. I'm not positive it's still that way. I believe it is. But uh, you'd get diminishing returns, where the very first upgrade was the strongest upgrade out of all of them. Now, obviously, it's, you know, you want to get your defenses to tier 5 if you can, as that's where they're uh, the most powerful. But definitely important to at least get that one first upgrade in. Plus, that gives you a free heal, too, as, you know, especially in the lower areas and in campaign here, you're... Like auras and walls and everything, they're just not going to last the whole match. Where, you know, once you get into the higher chaos difficulties and you have the all the nice legendary relics and all that stuff, then, then they're going to last a little while. There we go. We're wrecking it. So just keep all these walls up, upgraded as we go here. That one didn't take much. Did not a lot of damage on those lower ones at all. Definitely get another upgrade on that one, though. Azura is just quite the pack rolling up. Try to get those ranged mobs back there. The big heads on a book are never a good thing. good. This lane is getting pressed a little, but you know, that's a lot of R's in that tier 3 poison dart tower in that lane now. This lane getting pushed too. Still a lot of baddies coming. 170. This map has got quite a few mobs. There's no doubt there. That's one of the biggest challenges really when you break into Chaos 1, I think, too, is just being able to last out the waves because the, the mob counts are just really, really high. Another Wither Beast trying to get all up. He's right in the middle of two Flame Rs, though. I should have just ignored him. But it never hurts to get the Wither Beast down as quick as possible. You don't, uh, you don't need your towers getting debuffed. That is for sure.
He's gonna try to hold out without doing any wall repairs unless something just gets dangerous, dangerous low. Oh yeah, we are gonna clear the house back there. All those mark, all those mark targets. Look out! It is good game. And here we go. We got uh, just four more flyers left, and we are off to wave five. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. All right. So, do I want wall upgrades? I I almost feel like wall upgrades would be the best thing, but. It's hard to decide when you make that turn, where, you know, in game you don't upgrade your walls. You know, you upgrade your defenses and then they die before they get to the walls. But campaign, it's it's hard to uh, to adjust to that mentality. Just going to repair that one. This one, I think, uh, can get an up. It's going up there and an up there. And then this wall too, maybe? And that 130 left. Where can we put it? I'll tell you what, we can go 100 right there. Let's just do that. And wait 5 incoming. <laughs> Cobalt Flyers. Oh, crap. Um, now, I don't think these guys are going to be enough to kill the core. Hopefully not. Actually, I'm going to try to just get them to die bomb right onto me. Just dive bomb on Timmy Cobalt Flyers, you know you wanna. Then that will save me the whole headache. I mean, it'll kill me. Come on, enrage and dive bomb my ass. I'm just a glutton for punishment here. <laughs> can't do en can't do enough damage to get the Cobalt to enrage. <laughs> oh. He's not going to come after me. Oh, he went after a PDT. That wasn't very nice. Wrecking up on my poor little PDT. Little PDTs don't need that abuse. Let's see. How are we holding up? With a beast. Where is the big pack coming? It looks like the big pack is going to be hitting mid here in a minute. How the wall's doing? Wall's good. That wall could use some love. Oh yeah. They are indeed coming in. You know, I should have put the sky guard up on that post. I think that would have been a better bet. A little late now. I remember that next time. But yeah, I think up on that this exact same build with the Sky Guard up on that post, I think would have made life a little easier there. Oh yeah, we got a big old fat pack rolling up here. Holy crap! Try to get some damage in here. Ooh, ooh! I better back it up. Get a little healing going on real quick. Shoot! PDT's down. 96 mobs left. It looks like they're all coming the far side, though. So... Uh, we do have a bunch of flyers, though. Now, these, of course, are the regular kobolds, not the super kobolds, so... I'll just let them die bomb right into me. If I die, I die. Let's see, get a little heal going. We got more flyers and we got a big pack of mobs bunched up in the back. Actually, I need to worry about that pack of mobs. These flyers I don't think are gonna be in game or in game ending for me. Woo! Just in time on the wall repairs. Come on, mage, take that to the face. How do you like it? Oh, yeah. And there we go. We got three bads left. It looks like, uh... Looks like it's nothing but stuck mobs here, though. So, yeah, there we go. Very nice. So, there is Little Horn Plaza. Or, 
Little Horn Valley, Little Horn Plaza. <laughs> Little Horn Valley on campaign hard mode. So uh, a lot of fun there. This is actually a really, really fun map. I like doing this one. Um, this is one of the Chaos 5 rotation, and I always enjoyed running through it. Let's see what kind of goods we got in the box here. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh yes. Oh yes. We got a medallion. We got a staff. And it's four per second. Holy smokies. Oh, there is a replacement. Oh, the let the face roll commence now. Holy crap. Nice. All right. Well, that will do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I do apologize in advance, but there will be a little bit of channel spam going on as I'm uploading these videos. As I've just got the urge to play Into the Trials on the Xbox One here. And I just need to get off my butt and make it happen uh, and get this campaign finished up. So uh, anyway, once again, that will do it for now. So thank you. Click that like bu button and subscribe if you're a fan of DD2. There will always be lots and lots of Dungeon Defenders 2 on my channel. Multiple uploads per day, of course. So uh, thanks again, and I will see you next time. Take it easy. Thank you.